Let's take a moment to talk about clip versions in Personas Studio One. So if we have a timeline with any audio events on it, each one of these audio events is referencing a file that's in our pool. So if we go to select and pool, you can see that we have bass loop, drum loop, and synth. Now, if I was to duplicate any of these events out, we could duplicate this four times, duplicate this twice. Notice that we're not getting any more additional files because it's referencing the same parent file. Now, between these files that we see in our pool, there are certain things that are shared, let's just say. So for example, if we take a look at something like transient detection and we were to make an adjustment to any one of these transient detection points, if I then was to duplicate this, Notice that this is shared between the two of them, right? If I make any adjustments to any of these, this is something that's happening on both events. In addition to that, if I was to take a look at clip gain, this is another thing that is shared. So let's come off our grid for a moment. If I made an adjustment here and I was to extend this out, again, if I was to duplicate this, this is something that's shared. And if I make an adjustment to one, it happens to the other. And then last but not least, if we take a look at, for example, using ARA plugins, things like Melodyne. If we detect with Melodyne, let's redetect this for polyphonic. If I make any changes to this, this is the exact same thing. I'm gonna just resize this a little bit so I can have a little bit more real estate. And maybe we'll, let's see. Let's adjust this. Same thing over here. If I play this, now if I, duplicate this out this is something and if we were to restore the original pitch i think for the most part this is a good thing because it makes sense that if you wanted to change the timing of a loop then you'd want that to happen in any instance where that loop is being used or for example if you've taken the time to really carefully craft some clip gain on a lead vocal and you've taken that chorus and you fly it over to different sections that you would want that to carry over as well but i think there are some times when maybe that's not going to be a favorable behavior so in those cases we have something called clip versions now what are clip versions well i'm going to work with this one because i think it's the easiest to demonstrate so if we take a look at this file, any change that we made is affecting all of them. So like I said, this might be a good thing, but let's say that on this one, we needed to have independent control and we needed it to be different than what was happening on this clip. Keep in mind, it's all referencing the same parent file, which in this case is this one sitting in our pool. If we right click and we choose audio and at the very bottom here we have in the option over here to create a new clip version i've mapped this key command out to something custom so but this is definitely something i would recommend mapping out if we click new version now notice that we have one two and we have one one so it has basically made that version one is kind of like the original and then version two is something that we can modify now independently from version one so now we can make changes. Now also notice when we click in the, the file in the pool that we have this little drop down menu and now we see version one and two. Now if you have a version, for example, in this case version two, actually let's create another version, right? We're gonna right click, we'll go to audio and we will create new clip version. So now we also have a version three. So now let's say for version three, we've done something different altogether. I'm making an adjustment here. So now that we have these three versions, these are our options in terms of the clips. And think of these as kind of like saving separate versions with like a file save as or something like that. But you still have access to the, to the original version. So let's say I wanted to replace the fourth event over here with one of these versions. Well, then that's something that I don't necessarily have to delete this and then take this one from over here and then basically copy and alt, alter option drag to copy it over. There's another way that we can do this. If we click this and then we select the version that we want in the pool, which we can see by seeing which version it is, then we can use our alter option modifier to replace just that version. So that's one option in terms of getting things to work and understanding how versions work. But there is another option that we can use to basically separate these versions because right now they're all the same version of the parent file and that is by right clicking and we can go to event and then we have the option to separate shared copies. 
Now when we choose separate shared copies, it's basically going to leave the first version as kind of like a backup of the original. And then each one of these becomes a unique version. Now each one of these can be edited completely independent. So if this is something where you wanted independent control, even if you're working with ones that were copied over, then this is something you, that you could do. And of course, the same thing goes for the drums, right? So we have different ways that we can do this. Maybe for the drums, I want to use the ability to go to event and I want to separate the shared copies, which gives me like a one one, two, and a three. Now from here, let's say that I don't want to have audio bend on one or two, but I just want to have it on one of them. Then this is something that I can do just by removing the bend markers or removing any transient detection that's happening. So now for these two files over here, I don't need to see the bend markers and I just want to see the bend marker for this one. So we have clip versions for each one of these. Now let's say this is Melodyne. Right now, if I solo this, Let's say that I wanted this second one over here to go up. So in that case, I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose a different option, which is just to create a new clip version. So now we have a version one and a version two. And as we can see in synth, we have version one and then we have our version two. Now for this one, I'm going to make a change in Melodyne. So, so this one here, I'm going to just bring this up. But now if I go back to my first version that's in the timeline. So these are the situations where clip versions come in handy. When you're working with audio bend, when you're working with clip gain, and when you're working with melodyne. And then we have two different ways in which we can basically edit these, either by using the separate shared copies from the event menu, or just by manually creating a new clip version, which is in the audio menu. So. That's all the time I have available for today. Hope that you enjoyed this and I will catch you in the next video. Cheers.